Alright, good morning Iron Family. So, today is Sunday, July 30th. Finished with our prep and everything. And today we're going to enjoy it with an amazing beach day. So there's a huge swell coming since this freak winter storm looking thing came through midsummer. Blew by just off the coast. Winds aren't great, but it's still surf. So, we're going to pack up. We're gonna go catch ourselves some waves. Okay, so, gonna be uploading video for the show day today. That'll probably be up. I'm doing the Friday one this morning, and then tonight we're gonna throw up the uh, show day one. Last order of business. Got this whole package full of new product samples. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you'll know that about a year ago we rolled out the first version of the Iron Family shirt and shortly followed by Iron Family Bro Tanks, tank tops, and they sold out really fast. Now part of that was I was in college, a lot of my friends wanted them and stuff, but um, I'm a smaller channel so I don't expect it to sell out that fast now that I'm kind of out in the world on my own and not all my buddies are going to buy it up that fast, but I still think I'm going to order a decent amount and I will keep you guys updated on this whole process. But. We're trying to go a little bit larger scale, expand into lifestyle -y stuff, and um, you know, create a brand with a name behind it. A name for people who give a little bit more than the usual people. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated as we do that. Boom, look at that. Got the tall, dark Duncan roast. It's Yeep. an early 11.30 in the morning. I'm oh, sorry, no, 11.30 at night. Um, finishing up editing Saturday's vlog. Super successful day at the beach, guys. Like crazy swells. We had some big storm off the coast, kicked up the surf. I kid you not, when I was out in the water, by the time I got out to the lineup, past, you know, getting caught inside for an hour, I, I mean, literally, I would float two or three blocks by the time I'd take my first wave, take it, ride it, take it in. I have to walk all the way back two blocks. So it was a really tiring day. But totally worth it because the swells were amazing so that might be the biggest it gets this summer we'll have to see if anything else kind of comes up the coast and gives anything and then i know i talk about this all the time but i don't have any footage of it that may be changing so i got a two-week beach vacation coming up and i might be looking at doing a new investment with maria of course into uh you know something that might help us with some footage around that area not going to say anything else on that don't want to get anyone hyped up in case it happens or it doesn't, but <laughs> we'll see. But I really want to start making some footage of that because that's a huge part of my life. I think it's a huge part of being fit is being able to do what you love. That's one of the things I love most. So we'll see about that. But for today, getting back to work. <laughs> Been sitting at the computer for hours after. We kind of came home early because I knew I had stuff to get done. And Maria did, so as much as it hurt to leave early, we had to. But yeah. It has now been a couple hours of editing this and that. I'm gonna get it uploaded, work on some thumbnails. Keep getting these daily uploads out to you guys. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for, I gotta get cavities filled, which I brush my teeth twice a day every day, so I don't know why I'm getting cavities. It's something to do with, I'm not flossing or something. It's BS, I floss. It's all conspiracy. Anyway, I gotta get cavities filled. Then we're gonna get a, um, I think I'm just gonna do like an upper body workout. I'm kind of taking like a, it's not, I'm not powerlifting, but I'm doing like a deload week after my, uh, my prep just to kind of take it easy on my body, let it recover, and just test out the different kinds of lifting styles that there are, you know, the lifting splits. So I think I'm gonna try maybe do push day, rest, pull day, rest, leg day, rest. Um, or I might do upper body, lower body, upper body, or lower body, upper body, lower body. We'll see what we do. So tomorrow's, Inst or what am I saying, Instagram, tomorrow's workout is a mystery that I don't even know what's going to happen. So well, you'll just have to stay tuned and see. All right, so the mock show day one is live. I've been spending the morning putting stuff up on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, getting it out there on all the social media, uh, trying to spread the word. But super proud of that. 32 pounds lost. Definitely, I wasn't like stage ready. But I'm happy with the progress, you know, it gives me an idea of what I'm going to be doing next year. So tons of room to improve. I mean, I'm not delusional. By, by no means was I, um, like, stage shredded. Um, but I was happy with the, with the weight I lost. And I think next year with the actual 
pressure of having to get up on stage doing a real competition it's gonna push me to you know bring something even more amazing uh, but I'm excited about that if you haven't seen it go check it out on the channel let's get on to our day I don't know how these beautiful chiclets have cavities but we're gonna go get those taken care of oh my god I can't believe you just did that oh, I did that and they loved it All right, my face is really numb. I just got two, two of the three fillings I needed, so I gotta come back on Wednesday, but, uh, I mean, at least I look good. It's gonna be a struggle to eat today, though, and work out, but I'll probably look funny the whole video. What's up guys? So, we're gonna be opening up the new mock-ups, prototypes for the new Iron Family launch, which is gonna be going on in sometime in the fall, we're not sure yet. And my lip is still numb from dentist stuff this morning, so if I look like a stroke victim, that's why. But we got some pretty cool stuff. If I can ever get it open. All right, we're also, this will be showing the new logo and everything, so. Get excited and who knows maybe we'll even throw in our own dad hats into the new the new mix but first up we have for the fall our brand new iron family hoodies so this is a really nice lightweight hoodie you wouldn't wear this if it's like super cold out but on like a chillier night in the fall great it's got the matching uh, upgrade tassels, a very clean white with the new Iron Family logo. So let's try it on. It feels really nice. Um, so it's nice and we kind of, we took it in up top so that it, it fits very nice and snug up top and then scoops nice and low. Uh, so it's got a very nice flow to the whole thing. Um, this is what it looks like. And you get your hood on. And uh, yeah, this is perfect. Now it's like 90 degrees right now, so uh, this is way too hot. But I love this, and I'm gonna be wearing these a lot uh, as it starts cooling off. Next up, next up is gonna be our new Iron Family logo on those black V-necks that were really popular. So the new sleeker design with the logo. And again, really nice cottony stretchy almost performance it's like a mix between performance and lifestyle kind of tribal and cotton and again really nice scoops to the front fits like a glove up top all the sizes I'm wearing are uh, this is a men's medium and I believe it's the same for all the others so again this has a great feel to it and it looks super clean with new logo so I'm really happy about how that turned out these are great just um, this is a good gym shirt, but you can also just wear this out and about. Um, very, very comfortable, and I'm very happy with the, uh, I mean, you can't feel through a camera, but the feel is very, very nice. It's half stretchy, half kind of soft. I don't know. It's hard to explain it, but it feels really good. All right, last one, tank tops. There it is. And these are going to be, I believe, in red. We'll also offer them, I think, an olive green, maybe. And these are pretty cool. This is a men's medium as well. And there it is with the new logo. Again, fits like a glove. This one, a little bit um, more rougher complexion. It's definitely more for working out. Um, but feels great, looks great. And uh, we might be adding a couple new products to the whole launch, depending on how much interest there is coming up in it. But I'm very excited to launch all this new stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna wear one of these and go get a workout in at the gym now with my dad hat. Maybe we'll, this is what I'm thinking about is I wanna do dad hats too with the logo on them. So let me know, comment down below what you guys are most excited about for this launch. Again, we're looking at mid to late fall, um, depending on how long it takes to get everything together. Uh, but yeah, this is the first kind of uh, 
set of samples we've had, so I'm pretty excited with how they look, and I'm excited to get you guys' feedback on them. This could end badly. Oh, I've been off pre-workout for like a month, two months. I forgot how sour it was, but my lip is holding up just fine. Oh. All right, let's go lift. What's up guys? So we're back in the gym, uh, that whole peak week prep, mock show, all of it. Very successful, I'm happy with it. Um, don't, don't think I got where I wanted to be if I was actually gonna do a show, but hey, I was happy with the progress we made and it gives me a great perspective for next time. So now, we're into this new series, which is body and business. So we're gonna be trying to grow both of these things. Um, and I wanna kinda bring you guys along as I intend to grow both of these as much as possible. Uh, over these next couple of months into next year when we compete for the first time. And so I'm really focusing a lot now on building Iron Family as a business, uh, trying to really uh, get the message out there and get it in people's heads. Uh, spread the word that Iron Family, it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a fitness clothing brand, but it's so much more than that. It's this idea that we as a generation, we've been kind of coined as lazy, and not hardworking, and I really want to get outside of that and beyond that. And I think that success is found not solely in fitness, but fitness is an amazing cornerstone of success. You look at a lot of successful people, and fitness is, uh, you know, a real block, you know, a real solid foundation um, in that successful lifestyle. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think you can backwards engineer success uh, by starting with fitness and letting that bring you to success. Um, a lot of people, success brings them to find fitness, and I think it can be found the other way around too. And so, Iron Family is really about people who, they want to be successful, we want to be more than just millennials. Uh, I think that gets a negative connotation that millennials are selfish and we're self-centered, and a lot of times, fitness can be given that same connotation too, it's selfish and self-centered. And I don't think that needs to be the case, I think that a lot more can be brought from these, um, that industry and these kind of, our, our generation. And so Iron Family itself is, I mean, at its core, a group of people who are just trying harder than the expectations set for them. I mean, the bar is set so low for us and, you know, the media and the older generations, they think so lowly of us that it's not a hard bar to surpass. Um, and at Iron Family, we are a community that we're going to challenge each other to get out there, to get farther and to not stop once we've exceeded the low expectations, but to really achieve something, really change the world around us. And it's all based on these principles we learn in the gym. And it's very easy to show someone how to do a push-up with correct form, how to push themselves to failure, how to reach failure and keep going. And it's easy to show them that in the gym. Um, it's harder to show them that in the abstract lessons you have to learn in life. But if you can take all that and bring it into one workout and show people that, you know, great growth comes from failure that you can push yourself harder than you ever thought you could before and you can do it all in 45 minutes to an hour and then convince them to do that continually until it becomes just something that's completely ingrained in their person they're going to become successful and that's why I think fitness is the greatest success coach out there you know if you really become fit you have everything you need to be successful right there you have all the mindset you need You've learned all the discipline, all the perseverance, all the life lessons that successful people will tell you come from you know, becoming a fit individual. Because being fit in of itself is a very successful thing. It's a very hard thing to attain. And I think that a lot of people you know, knock on people who are fit, not because they're successful, but because they think they're vain and, and self-centered. They simply have chosen to become successful in something that's very close to them, their body, their physique. And so that can be seen as narcissistic, but it's not. Um, so I guess the long-winded thing I'm trying to get at here is over these next months I'm going to show you how I'm trying to build my brand, build this idea and build this community of people who just want to be more than the low expectations. We want to build something great together um, because we're going to be the best generation in history.
All right, guys, so just finished a push workout and it was good. It felt good to get back in the gym. Um, felt good to push some weight. And I mean, it was a Smith machine and stuff, so I don't know quite where I'm at, but I mean, I was doing incline, incline with 60s for, you know, solid sets of eight, dumbbell shoulder press, 50 solid sets of eight. So I think the strength is still there. I mean, we got a lot to go. So um, I don't like wasting a lot of time. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm setting goals for this bulk. Um, not necessarily weight wise, but definitely strength and size wise. Um, I don't know what my exact measurements are right now, but I'm gonna measure myself and uh, you know, set goals on that after that measurement is done. But for right now, I definitely know that I wanna pull 545 because my top pull right now is 515 for deadlift. So I wanna pull 545 in the off season. My top bench press is 245. So I wanna bench 275 and my top squat is 350 so i want to um i want to squat 365 and that's conservative i'd love to squat four or five but i think that's a bit of a hefty goal but you know what i like big goals so maybe you know what whatever we're, we're shooting big 405 so mark my words mark this vlog summer shredding just ended we're starting to look towards the bulk 275 bench 545 pull 405 squat those are the goals